Hello YouTube, uh, just uh, another update. Uh, I've got some uh, goodies that have uh, arrived uh, from a company called Micro Miniatures um, and they do a lot of uh, electronic uh, stuff for uh, model railways and, and bits and pieces. So, lovely goodie box arrived. Uh, so we've got a whole bunch of these. These are the um, screw connectors for uh, joining wires and things together. Uh, so I've got a load of those, and they're going to go for the uh, around by the control panel and control desk, uh, so that we can essentially just put short cable lengths to the uh, to the switches on the control panel, and then run the longer cables off to wherever they need to be, the points, uh, point motors, uh, etc. So it allows me to do um, some really neat soldering jobs at the uh, the control panel area uh, to the backs of the switches. Speaking of which, um, I've also bought a load of these. These are the uh, little caps that go on the switches. So uh, I've got. Uh, I'm using these switches. These are the uh, off. Uh, sorry, on off on switches. The centre sprung ones. Um, so now, so I can identify what is what. I'm going to put these little caps on, um, so that we're going to have uh, you know. All points will be one coloured uh, sort of cap. Um, the on off switches will uh, be for the isolating sections, and the on on switches, which will be a different coloured cap, will be for the uh, signals, colour light signals. So when they're all on the control desk, rather than having a whole bunch of switches all with the, the same sort of coloured, well, silver prong or catch, um, you know, there'll be just different colours, so it'll be pretty obvious what that uh, switch is supposed to be doing. Then I bought uh, a whole bunch of uh, heat shrink tubing, uh, so I can uh, again make a really nice, neat job of the uh, soldering, and pop some heat shrink around it to keep uh, keep things from short circuiting on each, on each other. So there's a whole bag full of uh, various sized heat shrinks tubes in there. So that's pretty neat. And then uh, I also bought these. Uh, I've got two of these, and these are the point indicator boards. Uh, so when we throw points using one of these switches, uh, we've got some LEDs. Then they're going to go on the control board to uh, indicate where that point's been thrown left or right. Um, basically, give some route information. Uh, so this board here can control. Eight, uh, sorry, has eight inputs uh, for point uh, for, from point motors. So the input is taken from the switch actually. So as the switch, uh, the the two power leads from the switch go to the point motor to throw it left or right, they also go through one of these little blocks. So we take a spur off and feed into uh, one of these channels. So again, we can see whether the point's thrown left or right depending on what. Uh, what cable got activated down here. So here's the wiring diagram uh, for that board. So hopefully this will explain it in a little bit more detail. So these are your switches. So that would be these things. So the switches and the point motors are connected together. They go into the control board and then that uh, will illuminate one of these LEDs depending on which channel uh, we're in down here. So this board needs a 12 volt power supply coming in which uh, I think goes in just there. That's the right orientation, yeah. So that goes 12 volt DC goes into here. The LEDs will connect here uh, with their resistors uh, which are in uh, the, the bag of bits. So here's the LEDs and the resistors are just underneath there. There's the resistors. And then we have common returns at the top here, which are here and here. So I have two of those boards. They cost about £16 each. These, but It comes in a nice neat pack with uh, all the uh, control information, the the, uh, the information on how to wire it up. So I think that's going to be really neat uh, with the, all the, the point motors and switches uh, just to have LEDs light up when 
uh, a points thrown. So I should enjoy putting that together. Um, I'm still making my way around with the point motors. I've got 10 installed now, uh, just in the GCR station. Uh, but as you can see, I had to kind of pull things apart uh, a little somewhat just to get the uh, the point motors in. But there they are. There's one there, there's one there. So I'm making my way around the layout. Um, I'm still waiting for the points to arrive. Um, so I still haven't done anything down here about the... Um, the point work for the loop line, uh, but yeah, I'm cracking on with the uh, the electronic side of things. Now my soldering isn't particularly brilliant, so I think I'm going to invest in one of those helping hand uh, devices so we can sort of clamp that and present the the prongs for soldering, uh, and then use both hands then for for soldering. I think they're only a few pounds, so I think it's going to be well worth the uh, the investment. But yeah, have a look at uh, micro miniatures. Um, I'll do a video on on uh, setting up and wiring up the control panel, um, and then you know a few videos of it in action. But the idea is I'm going to have um, enough of these these LEDs uh, to uh, do uh, show all the points and all the routes uh, around the layout. I think these um, these can run up to I think four or five LEDs per channel uh, so it might be nice to get like a, a root set uh, showing uh, so you know when you throw um, a point especially round when we've got this loop line up here so a line of LEDs on the control panel uh, indicating which line uh, is actually live rather than just one for the the point to indicate left or right uh, actually across the the panel as well across the line um, maybe some red or green LEDs uh, just light up uh, off this uh, off this controller. And this is really well made, actually. I'm really impressed with uh, how this looks. The uh, the soldering is really neat on the back. It's all really nicely spaced out. It's really obvious uh, what things are. They've they've labelled up things nicely on the front. And uh, and the instructions I think are so simple. I've yet to work, I've yet to attempt this, but this, the instructions look so simple. Um, it's I think it's going to be pretty difficult for me to go wrong. Anyway, I shall leave it there for now. Um, I'll catch you later. Bye.